Okay, we were in the middle of- oh. We are gonna do a TikTok and then we realised we were talking way too much shit to fit in a three minute video. So, we're gonna do YouTube. We're just getting ready for my brother's having his birthday party tonight and he's got like a big marquee at the back. I'm Olivia by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my brother is turning 23 so he's having a big party. 23? Yes. Oh, uh, is <laughs> turning 22? No, I just turned 21, so he'd be uh, turning 23. Yeah, you're right. Someone asked me the age of you the other day, and I was like, oh, I have no idea. Because I usually yes. figure out, Matthew's two years above me, but I have no idea. You're a weird one, you're in between. 24. Yeah. But soon to be 25. Someone turned, turned around to me the other day. I was at dance, and I was like, yeah, I'm 24. And they were like, you're what? And I was like, I'm 24. Yeah, and you were like, like 17. That's so old. And I was like, what the fuck? That is old. It's not old. Well, no, it's not old, but once you get to 25, then it's like your mid-20s. Yeah, but like, in my eyes, I think that's still, like, I still think your 30s is young. No? No. <laughs> 30s is like, people have babies when they're 30. You're yeah, not, I won't be having a baby when I'm 30. So you're just never gonna have a baby? A baby. You can't have a baby when you're 40. <laughs> baby. Your body doesn't, like, have babies when you're 40. I don't want a baby. Yes, you do. You're such a baby mom. Like, you're such a baby A person. baby mom. <laughs> baby mom. <laughs> No, I actually really don't want to be a baby. I'm getting red now from laughing. I just used some foundation, some EX1 foundation. I'm using, we're going to be using all the same things because I didn't bring any makeup. Olivia never me. brings makeup when she comes home, so that she can just use mine. Emma, let's not get into it. Let's not get into it. No, no, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't say that in a way that it's so an issue. So imagine, I'm actually just going to tell you a story here. Oh no! So for my birthday party, I like had like, people around to my house and I invited my whole family to come over to London. And Emma said like, oh, Olivia, do you want me to do your makeup for your birthday? Because sometimes she does my makeup for particular Okay. Thing. No, 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 wait, can I just chip in here? So when I said that, you really grumpily turned around, you were like, Mm, maybe. And I was like, right, No, okay. I said, yeah, sure. You said maybe? I did not. You said maybe so it wasn't set in stone. And then the day before, or the no. morning, no, 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 the morning of, I rang you and said, what's the plan for tonight? Thinking you were going to be like, can you come at this time so you could, so there's time to do my makeup? And you were just like, I wrote it, I wrote it in the group chat. And I was like, oh. okay. <laughs> so I did say, can you do my makeup? No, you said, come at seven. With everyone else, so I was like, she clearly doesn't want me to do her makeup. Okay, well, anyway, then Emma texts me, I was out, and she goes, Can I borrow some makeup brushes? So I had like, I, for I forgot my whole, all my makeup brushes. All her makeup. And I said she was staying somewhere like 45 minutes away from me, and I said, Yeah, sure, um, you can go into my makeup like bag and take some. So then I, I, my birthday, I'm really excited. I, I'm starting to get ready like three hours before I go out, which is so unlike me. Which one do you use for concealer? Um, this one. I was trying to get ready like really early, like back, like I, how I used to back in the day. Cause I was just so excited and I, you know, I do my skin prep and then I go to do my makeup and I have no makeup brushes. <laughs> she took the whole fucking lot. No, right, okay. And then, and then she shows up half an hour late and I was like, how did you expect me to fucking do my makeup on my birthday? Okay, so she was in, where were you, Milan? So oh, I, I don't assumed, get into the details. I assumed, obviously if she's away at somewhere where she's gonna have to be wearing makeup, she has all of her makeup and her brushes with her. So I assumed anything lying around was like spare that I could take. And then I got a absolute hot or not. It was um <laughs> But one thing that really pissed me experience. off about the whole, yeah, because I can be quite scared when I'm angry, but the only person I ever get angry with is her. But, me um, and dad. Yeah, but for some reason, my parents baby Emma. No, they don't. Yeah, they do, Emma. They baby you. You're no, joking. they do not. They don't give a fuck about me. They do not baby me, Olivia. They do. I get given the least attention out of all the children. That is not true. It is. And I've come you get baby so much. Mum and dad do everything for you when you're home. Yeah, because I come home like once a year. They worship the ground you walk on. Dad just went out and got you a boo gym. He just went out and got you your tequila. Like, they do everything for you. You're joking. I know. Well, anyway, like, anyway. Mummy made me one pot pasta. <laughs> <laughs> made me avocado and beef and toast. Okay, right. To be fair, whenever I'm home, they're really, really nice to me because I don't come home very often. You're literally like, you're, all, you're always here. Oh, yeah. And there's this like vegan recipe that I discovered on, you know, Tasty. It's like that. Buzzfeed food video yeah. Facebook and it's like this one pot pasta that it's like really offensive to Italians it's like you cook you literally cook the pasta it's actually really gross I think no I was obsessed with it for a while but I mean, no I think it's horrible well you like cook the pasta in milk it's it's really really weird Ooh. but it's like my comfort food like I've just I've eaten it for years and every time I'm hungover or like sick I always make it and it just it's like I think this is my comfort food and every time I come home like if I had said this to my mom like oh mom can you make one pot pasta whenever I lived here she'd tell me to 
shampoo wipe my past up my butt. That's not true. Yes, it is. They're the baby of the family. I am the baby. They don't baby me. They do, Olivia. Emma, Emma, Emma. Oh, but anyway, I texted Emma and I was like, or I rang her and I was like, what the fuck? Why did you take all my makeup? It's my birthday. How am I supposed to get ready? Obviously, like, being a bit rude because I was freaking out. And then I get a phone call from my dad. Leave per Emma alone. She's not even done anything. And I'm like, no. The, the issue was that, okay, so dad rang me and goes, have you spoken to Olivia today? I was like, Ati, I just Oh, no, actually, this is such a boring story. I don't know what I've been telling her. No one cares. Anyway, moral of the story was that I unpacked all of her shit in her new house for her. She didn't say thank you to me once, cheeky bastard. <laughs> she stole my makeup brushes. I spent hours unpacking your clothes. I spent hours blending my makeup with my fucking fingers. <laughs> Anyway, this is what happens when you have a sister. I told a story the other day about how, like, I'm not really not a fighter. Like, I don't. Are you joking? No, no. <laughs> no this is what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm a. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Like, I don't fight with my friends ever. I've never got in a physical fight before, and I don't think I ever will. I'm not really. And there's just this weird thing <laughs> with my sister. I like. That's the biggest lie I've ever told. You've never gotten in a physical fight. No, only with you. With who else? Who have I ever else have I ever fought? I don't know, but you'd love to just take your anger out on me. Slam me up against cupboards, <laughs> strangle me. <laughs> this is when it all kicked off, and then from here on in, it's just been you being a psycho ever since. Ah! Basically, we have an older cousin, and you know the way when you're a, when you're a kid, you like worship your older cousins. You just think they're the best people in the world. So we used to always like fight for attention, basically off our older cousin. And then one day we were sitting on his bed brushing his hair. And I was like, no, let me do it, let me do it. So I was like brushing his hair, giving him a head massage. And then next thing, Olivia literally snatches the hairbrush off of me and starts whacking me with it like this on the head. <laughs> Furiously and like wouldn't stop. And I was screaming, crying, and Michael just didn't know what to do. He was literally just watching like... <laughs> oh, I was a freak though when I was younger. I used to like follow him around like a puppy dog. Yeah, we were obsessed. We have like, like family for and and I was out in Belfast like last year I think and I saw him and he came up to me and he's like oh my god like, I swear the last time I saw you you were like in the dog suit like licking my hand and I was like sorry what? I unlocked a memory that whenever I must have been like what six seven yeah I used to dress up as a dog she and had then this, like onesie it dress was up it thing. was actually a dress up thing like it yeah, really yeah. was a costume I used to dress up as dogs and get on all fours at like family barbecues and go around yeah. licking people's hands hilarious freak. <laughs> You really got into the character. I know, I was a theatre kid. Yeah. I like putting a bit of cream contour on my eyelids. So I don't, in case anyone cared. <laughs> I like this cream contour, what is it? It's really nice, isn't it? What, what's it called? It's the Be Perfect Shape Stick. Cause I usually use the Fenty one, but sometimes I find it a bit dry where it's just That's very really creamy, creamy yeah. isn't it? It's so easy to blend out. It's my favorite. My favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I can never get my hands on it. Like, in, like that yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that. Have you used that? Yeah, I gave you it's that really or not? No, I bought that. Uh -oh. I don't use blusher. Do you not? No, I'm not a blusher girl. Oh my god, I'm such a blusher girl. I dice myself in it. I like a really, really light pink one. Like, you know that one that, um... Yeah, like the Dior. Yeah, the Dior one. I don't have it, but I, someone used it on me once and I loved it. It's very like, what's the word? Baby doll type of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm a baby doll. Bubba. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. I love to be bubba. You know that you're the... I must come up to Leeds and visit you sometime. I know, you actually should. I know. I just you should come like for something though. Like an event? Yeah. Leeds is a bit very shindy and a bit grungy. <laughs> What's grungy? Like skins? So, like all the clubs are like ba those basement ones and like... <laughs> I have to say, I'm not a big raver. No. I, I like songs with lyrics in them. See, I haven't been going out this year. I've just been going to bars, which suits me, but I don't think you would really. I mean, I did like the clubs last year, but I think I'm over it. I haven't really been clubbing in a while. No, I think my clubbing days are over. I think it's really antisocial. Like, you yeah, can't speak you don't to speak anyone. to people, and then you just wake up the next day hungover, but like you didn't have any like good conversations with people, so it just feels a bit pointless or something i do enjoy like sometimes i'm really in a mood like if me and my friends are being really like you know when you get a bit silly drunk yeah and you just, and you want, just to want to dance. dance yeah but in those cases you want to go somewhere like somewhere with like fun music yeah you know I mean? this bar called dry dock right and it looks like it's like an old boat literally on the grass how do you open that slide it it's in, like an old boat but there's been a bar built into it and they've got drag night on a thursday and the person who does it is from belfast Oh no way! She's really good. She called Charity. The drag night is so fun. Do you watch 
dry grace i really want to start watching it but i've never watched no, it no i don't but i think i would like it i think so lewis loves it do you yeah. like wet this yeah thanks Okay, time check. Oh, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> People are meant to be coming at seven, but also no one's actually gonna get here at seven. Like who comes? Yeah, on no the one actually cut. Well, those boys though. No, the boys cut. But people showed up here at like half five. But the, the rest of the girls wouldn't be. I actually feel like I'm gonna cry. You know when you have to like you have to get ready for something that you don't want to get ready for. I mean, I love my brother and I'm really happy that it's his birthday, but I just can't be bothered. Sam really couldn't be bothered over there. Maybe I'll fake a sickie. He's fucking faking a sickie. Oh, is that why he said he felt sick? No, well, he didn't. He's, I didn't think he was actually faking it. I'm just joking. But like when we were having a nap, he was like, I was fighting a whitey the whole time there. Maybe he's anxious. I feel, I feel a bit anxious. Maybe that's no, why. No, so look at my chest. I'm coming on heat yeah. rash. This is what I get when I'm like this. I had a makeup artist. Was it a makeup artist? Or, I don't know. I was something was happening. But you know, like before, if you've ever got your makeup done, they always say, "Are you like allergic to anything, or like sensitive skin?" And I'm always like, "No," because my face is completely fine. And the second they start doing my makeup, I just go, mm -hmm. I come out bright red. They're like, "Oh my god, you're having an allergic reaction." It doesn't happen when I do your makeup. I know. I think it's it probably is just like a bit of anxiety, but I don't actually feel anxious. I might put a wee lash on, you know. Oh my god, we put one on me. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. Really? I only wear them on occasion now. Ow! Whereas I used to it like every weekend. But no, I'm not good. I was never good at it in the first place, but I got the hang of it because I was doing it so often. Yeah. Oh my God, do you remember the big Chloe lashes Elizabeth. we used to wear? What were they? Doll lashes and yeah. Chloe Elizabeth? Oh, I remember seeing photos of myself with big spiders coming on. No, it wasn't even spiders. It was just, you couldn't see my eyelid. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Hold yeah, on. we're in my room and I've got a solo real makeup desk. I've got makeup in here since like, I'd say from 2015 maybe. <laughs> um, And I just found this. Jack and Hill palette. Oh, how like rogue, but I am obsessed with her YouTube at the minute. It's really? I've got every I've watched every single video she puts out. <clears throat> She's like on a weight loss journey, but it's also like I've seen a couple of the oh sorry, I keep knocking into this. <clears throat> I've seen a few of them. It's we so were proper OG. Jack and Hill. What was it she used to call? Hillsters or something? Uh, I don't know. But I was one of them. So sad about her ex-husband. What? John. What about him? Died. What? Yeah. He died? Yeah. Oh my god. I know. But she's got a new husband now, or no, the fiance. Yeah, yeah, fiance. Uh, yeah, but John died. Oh my god. Because it happened, like, I want to say, maybe over a month ago. And she, I, I never saw her post anything. I don't think I follow her on Instagram, actually, but I never saw her post anything. And then I, she posted a YouTube video the other day, and I watched it, and at the end, it was like black screen. I was like, this vlog ended abruptly because I got the news that my ex husband died. Oh, like, oh how that's terrible. really sad. I don't know. I really love her. I know, I really like her. I've got a big soft spot for her. Her new fiance seems really sweet. Oh, he's so nice and he always cooks her food. Yeah, he cooks really nice food. I think he's a chef. Who else you have, do you, are you liking on YouTube at the minute? I've been watching a lot of James Charles. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> Every fucking morning. His voice really goes through me. I know. And I completely get, like, and he's. He's done a lot of things that I really don't agree with, but there's just something about his videos that like, mm. they are so satisfying because they're so well edited. Like he's got a full like production team. Mm. Is that bronzer? Yeah. <sighs> oh my god, do you know who I watched the other day and it was so funny? Michael Finch. Oh my god, do you watch him and Lily doing the same? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I it love that. It was just them. like old times. It was so funny. I know. I also really like his stuff recently, like all his. TikTok. His cooking and yeah. I don't watch his YouTube, but I watch his TikTok. Yeah, and he like grows all his own herbs and vegetables. He's very wholesome now. Yeah, he is. That's all I want to be like. Grow all my own shit and go out to the garden and make a meal from my... I know, I want to be like that and I always say I'm going to do it. Because like, I have the time on my hands. I'm just too lazy. It would be so satisfying. It would be, but I just, I don't know. I have this thing against cooking. Like, I don't like putting in loads of effort. Because then you get like, I, well, I eat my food really quickly. So I, I eat my food in five minutes. I'm like, well, I just spent two hours preparing that. Yeah, you're not much of a cooker, are you? No, I, I do... Like if I was having like a dinner party, I think I would really enjoy that. Yeah. I cook, but I cook and then I just make loads, so then I have enough for a few meals. It was so funny. I like woke up at like two p.m. the other day. I was just lying in bed all day doing fuck all. I had the flu, but <laughs> I could have just got up and got on with normal day life, but because I was like slightly, I was like, oh. And I was like on TikTok, and your TikTok came up, and it was like. So today I woke up at 6 a.m. and then <laughs> I went for a walk and then I went and did my weekly shop and then I did meal prep for the entire week all before 7 a.m. and I was like, hey. Uh, no, it wasn't all before 7 a.m. What's this? Made by Mitchell Blurge. 
liquid blush. I can't wait to get these on my TikTok. When I uploaded, do you remember I uploaded that one when you were home, when we were both home the last time? And you came into the room when I was trying that. Oh yeah. Anyway, I said blush in it because that's literally the name of it. All the comments were like, oh my god, she can't say blush. <laughs> TikTok comments are the worst. What else is going on my eyes? How funny was it all the, it was just reminding me in my Govince's video that I look like one. I cannot. Uh, like, I'm here with Kendall. <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't do that. I hate blusher. Me. No, that's cute. Should I do a wing or do you think with this hair a wig would look really weird? I think a brown wing. Okay. I struggle to do my makeup and not do this little eyeshadow wing. Mm -hmm. This is actually a really nice palette. Yeah, I really like it. Well, I'll leave it here and you can use it when you're... I think, no, I think I have that in needs. I just always, I get in the habit of using certain things and then forget that I have other things. I might use a bit of blue on my... Do you have a blue eyeliner? Yeah, really cool. It's like a midnight oh, blue. Oh, no, I meant like a... A pencil? pencil. No. It's that would be cool though. That's what I do every day, don't I? No, this. Uh, no. Some blue mascara, that'd be cool. Oh, I've always wanted to get blue mascara. So any holidays planned, Emma? No, me and Cara wanted to go to Marrakesh. And I was like so up for it. They've got quite cheap flights from London. So I was just going to get the train to London and go for like a long weekend with her. Mm -hmm. But the second I started back at uni, I just really freaked out about how much work there was to do that. I don't think I can commit to that. Why are you going anywhere? I haven't got anything booked. But I would love to go to Mexico. Oh, I really want to go to Mexico. I really want to go to the Philippines next Christmas. For Christmas Day? Like over, maybe not Christmas Day, but like over New Year. I've never spent Christmas Day away from family. I don't know if I could. I have. I in, know. In Australia. Do you know what though? You actually didn't notice in Australia because it was so different to, like if I was in England or something, I would have been like, oh my God, I'm so homesick right now. But because it was like sunny, I was on the beach. It was just like a completely different environment. I didn't feel like Christmas. I think it's different because you were living in Australia. Yeah. But I think if you went on holiday over like Christmas Day, it'd be a bit grim. I don't know. I'm not a Christmas Day person. Oh, I hate Christmas Day, but your like, mum and dad are. Yeah. And last like, Christmas, last two Christmases have been really funny though. We literally had COVID last Christmas. I know, but it was hilarious. Yeah. Did you get COVID? No. I know I was the only one that didn't get it. I was probably ill. I don't know. I kind of like just how relaxed it was. There was no formality. Yeah. I hate. I don't really like Christmas because I hate Christmas dinner. I like Christmas Eve. I think Christmas Eve is fun because like everyone from your school is out and stuff. Let me try some blue eyeshadow. Where are you going to put it? Under. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I was going to bring my blue eyeliner but I just thought you would have it. No, sorry. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? I don't know. I don't like Halloween. I think I'm going to go to America. Okay. Because... <laughs> Obviously, like, we don't really have nice. Halloween here. I've never been, been a big Halloween person, but obviously in America, it's a really, like, they actually celebrate Halloween. I really don't like Halloween. Halloween to me is, like, it's, like, New Year's Eve, an overhyped night where everything's too busy. You can't get a taxi. Queues are long. You have to get tickets for everything. And not Halloween's done. I like all the Halloween makeup. I like the coziness. Halloween movies, stuff like that. But actual Halloween night is not for me. I don't know what I'm going to do this year because I'm really not arsed about going out in nights. No, I hate going out in, like... I'm going for Halloween, it's always shit. And New Year's, I hate New Year's. I'm going to go away for New Year's, actually, that's something I'm going to go away for. I really want to, you know, rent like one of those wee cabin Airbnbs with a hot tub. How nice would that be on New Year's? Yeah. Like sitting in the hot tub with a glass of Rebecca. I was meant to go away with my boyfriend for, for, for New Year's Eve. What happened? <laughs> now time for mascara, please. There you go. What's this? Oh, I have your mascara here. Oh, yeah, let's use it instead. Oh, nice to see that you've used it. No, I wanted to keep it in the, in the thing. Oh, but you can use it if you, you want. You don't want to open it. Because look, this one. Wait, did you see it? <clears throat> no. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Thrill Seeker Mascara. It's really cool. Turn the wheel. Wait. I don't really know. Oh, and then it came out. The mascara came out of there or something. Oh. Uh, yeah, it came out of there. Oh, wow. So I actually I, love it. Wait, have you not used it yet? No, I just left it because I wanted to keep it with the PR one. But have you literally not even tried the mascara? No. Did you try it? Yeah, no. I'll try it now. I always go, I hop with my lashes first. I push them down. When I remember, I don't do that every time. And then I go back in and I go up. You got really naturally curly lashes. I got yeah. a curl mine, or they're just like straight and you can't see them. I was blessed with quite curly eyelashes, which is good because I'd probably be too lazy to curl them. So was mum got really curly eyelashes. I've got dad's straight ones. 
Can you see it? You can't see. Don't they look nice? Yeah. Do you still want lashes? I'll do my my lip liner and then I'll see. Lip lining's really bad. It's making me look very strange. What are you wearing tonight? I have no idea. I don't know what kind of vibe it is because it's like a house party. So probably do people wear trousers or do people, like it's a birthday. So are people gonna wear wearing dresses. See, this is the thing, because I thought it was a pretty and people were going out, I was going to dress up a bit. Now I brought like a dress, or I brought a skirt and a top as well. Oh, yeah. Is this some butter bronzer? I love yeah, this bronzer. Yeah, so good. If you haven't tried this, well, where can you get it? Oh my you god, you can you get it in boots? Sephora UK coming. Oh, really? Yeah, in London. You can get it in boots now, though. Uh, well, You've got um, scar all over I know, I need to let it dry, Emma. Emma. I love the smell of it, it's incredible. I know, anytime I use it on... Um, Clients, they're literally like, what is that? Well, I'm the like, thing Sam is, I'm coming now. I'm not ready. But yeah, but do you ever get, do you ever get breakouts here? Cause it's so fragrant, it must not be very good for your skin. No, I get breakouts on my chin mostly, yeah, and me like too. here. Hormonal. Yeah, apparently. I really see this is infuriate to me because I'm convinced something's off about my hormones But every time I go and get a hormone test at the doctors, they tell me nothing's wrong Why do you think there's something wrong with your hormones? It's just because why would I be getting hormonal? Because you're a girl and you get your menstruating yeah. You don't stop menstruating once you get to like 18. I know but I'm just I don't know sometimes my skin just plays havoc <sighs> Give me strength! What? Jesus, Mary, Joseph! Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph! Oh my god, you know, every time I come home, my mum leaves to my bedside table and it's really funny. What? Basically, when I was like 14, mm -hmm. we didn't grow up particularly religious, but like- Sorry, we didn't grow up religious at all. Okay, okay, I wasn't christened and I never went to church, so we were definitely not religious. However, we went to like religious schools. Mm. We went to a Protestant school, Emma. It's called Methodist. We went to a religious school, we had a chapel and stuff. And oh, I've got a sore spot on my back. And then one day I decided I'm gonna rebel against, I don't know what I was rebelling against, I just thought I was re <laughs> rebelling. And I went and bought myself an atheist book and I became a strong atheist. That's called The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. It's a really, really, really good book. Oh, I, what was it mum said to you when you were reading that? So oh yeah, your... so then when I like used to highlight things in the book and I would go downstairs and read them to my mum and dad because they pretend to be religious. Well, yeah, this is the thing about mum and dad, not religious at all. They chose to not bring us up religious. But then the second we turn around and say something against religion, all of a sudden they just decide to get defensive about it. It doesn't make any sense. I thought she got really offended one day at you reading stuff out from it. Oh yeah, she did get really pissed off at me one day. She's like, stop reading that! Blasphemy! Okay, it's last time. Oh yeah, no, this is really, and I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to baby? I know you see me looking at you more, baby. Ooh. Do you have a sharpener? Oh, I'm really like struggling to recover from this cold. I'm just, I, sniff I know, a I'm constantly sniffing. I need like, I need cotton buds. Now that I've got makeup on. What? To like, go like that, oh. instead of blow your nose and take your makeup off. Yeah? Do you like a little sex on the beach? No. Thank you. Mummy, do you have a short butter? Mummy, do you have a short butter? Mm-hmm. Can I please borrow it? Um, Olivia, have a glass for a second. Absolutely not. Oh, Mum, can I have a splash of orange juice in it, please? Thank you. I love coming back home and looking at this cupboard. I always find loads of things I didn't know I had. Oh, look! Look, it's silver jewellery! And this is really exciting because I actually recently have decided I'm kind of back into silver jewellery a little bit. I'm a silver jewellery gal. That's nice. Ooh. Oh my god, I fully forgot I had this! Like, I was just like blasting religion and then I'm like, oh, my little crumb! <laughs> Let me put that on. Here you go, it's a bit mucky, but it should be all right. Mummy, what? you're Catholic. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's offensive if I wear a, a crucifix? Yeah. Okay. Not in the slightest. Even if she doesn't believe in God? Yeah. No. Okay. It's not in the slightest. You wear what you want to wear. I can't, I can't ask for the orange. Olivia, do you want anything? Um, I'm okay. I'll have a wee glass for that I don't really like her, that good. I would have maybe a tequila with pineapple juice and ice if it was going. Okay. Thank you. I feel like I just think. <laughs> oh my God, you know what I realised? Like, I've kind of fallen into like, Bad habits, like I haven't had a shower in a really long time. Oh, that's really a sign I've of been, depression. Yeah, I've been, <laughs> I've been sleeping all day, like not eating properly. That's good. This is what happens when you have a breakup, though. It's weird though, because I don't necessarily feel sad. I just feel like I don't want to 
I know, but all it takes is falling into those old habits before then you are sad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially with winter coming in now. You need to be careful or you'll slip into seasonal depression. Like not, it's like not in a depressing way, but I don't see the point in getting out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting there crying in bed. I just don't, I'm just like. What's there to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me see a therapist. <laughs> I don't think it's for me. Well, I went once and like, I know, I don't, I do not know a lot about therapy, obviously, like there are therapists, there's a lot of stuff that goes into therapy and they spend three years like learning about it and you need probably even more than three years. And I know it's very complex, but I feel like I've outsmarted it in a way. No, you just got a bad person. <laughs> well, basically like, I know what they're going to say to me and I know what they want to hear from me. So I went to this therapist once when I was getting a, a lot of like, stick on nine and was not feeling very positive and he basically was just like why th why would you care about online it's not real life like basically I instead of listening to her and validating her feelings which is what a therapist is supposed to do he did the complete opposite and gaslit her yeah and it was like really like horrible and then he was like okay that's the end of the session now so i'll see you next week so then ne the next week he rang me and he's like so how are you feeling I'm, i actually feel great <laughs> thank you thank oh 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 thank you Thank you. Orange juice for both of you. Thanks very much. Thanks, mummy. You're welcome. Cheers. Um, cheers. Fuck Delicious. it, Elle. She made that strong. I try. What's on your lips? Charlotte Tilbury. Pillow top medium. I wear it every single day. Can I use it? Yes, I suppose you can. It's always sold out. I don't understand. Surely they would want to make as much money as possible and they would have their things in stock so that people can buy them. I think there's more to it than that. I just cracked like things going out of stock. You think? And eyelashes? I don't think. Mm. No, I don't think. Every time I put eyelashes on, I regret it. I think it looks like I'm about to take off. Okay, let me show you what options I've got to wear. Okay. So, for top wise, I have this little one from with. Oh, with I Jean. really like that. And it's like it buttons up, it's really cute. Or I have this one from Peachy Den. Oh, also really like that. And then my bottom options are just like parachute pants or this sweet skirt from Peachy Den. It's like a denim skirt, but okay. asymmetric. Or this one from Mission Bay. It needs ironed. I think either the denim skirt with the Peachy Den top. Uh huh. Or the cargoes with either tops. Okay, let me try on this and see what we think. I should probably have a shower before I get changed, but am I? No. Spread uh, deodorant. Wash my armpits with soap. I've got some baby wipes if you want them. I've become something really gross. <laughs> and it's like, I always thought once I had a breakup and I went into my single era that I would be like really hot and like, I'm just not. Fuck you are. No, I'm not. It's, um, it's bulking season anyway. Okay, so this Hibernate does not season. fit me. This is the thing with like strapless tops. Oh wait, can you see me now? No. Yeah, it's hard wearing strapless tops with no boobs because it's like nothing to hold them up. So it has to be really tight. No, but then or... I hate um, with strapless tops whenever, you know, you've got oh, a bit it's of really a, nice. when you've got a thing that hangs over. What do you mean? Like a bit of skin Oh, here. here. Like, pull it up a bit more. I love this lip liner. Did you ever tell the story of what happened on your birthday? On my podcast, just. Oh. Okay, so this is the top. Mm-hmm. And you no. think... It's quite nice with the bleach hair, isn't it? Yeah. You think this? I think either them or that top with the cargos or the white top with the cargos. Oh, it's a lot of getting changed. I just think with the denim skirt, it might look a little bit like I'm going to the beach. Depends what shoes you wear. Where's the lipstick that you used? I didn't use a lipstick. Oh, just that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I really like? Using these Mitchell blushes on my lips. Mitchell blush. Blush. Where does this go? What the fuck? What the fuck? Is there any lip balm kicking about? I don't have it. One time on a TikTok I said without a doubt and I got absolutely rich for it. Why? So now every time I say something that's like, like no or out, I'm like, oh, without a doubt. What's wrong with that? Just the way we say it. What, would you rather say without a doubt? No, but obviously everyone else would rather that. If you could have any accent in the world, what would it be? Australian? Yeah. Australian? No, that was bad. Australian. Australian. Lock one. Hi guys. No, that was terrible. Oh. No, I really like that. This is really nice. Where, where is this from? Brandy Melba. Oh, fuck. Okay, let me go get my outfit options. My options. Right. 
up either this white dress. No. No? No. Oh. It's like it's so summery. Yeah, it's I know. Halloween. The thing is, I wanted to wear it with black boots and then my little black crop jumper, but I didn't bring my black crop jumper. You would need a black crop jumper with that. Okay, that's that out of the question. Then I was thinking, do I do double denim? No. No, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> okay. Are they going to options here? And then I've got this two piece of like a little. Oh, that's nice. And then the trousers. Yeah, I think that's better. With that top? No, with like a black bra. Okay, this is what we're going for. It's actually all the of this, apart from the jacket. Thanks. It's okay. <laughs> See, I am Jen. I'm nice to you in some ways. I just need to put some gel in my hair. I am wearing this little top, this sweet denim skirt, both from Peachy Den, and this jacket, which is from Bradley Melville. I'm going for a real navy look tonight. I don't know about this jacket. Do you have a white jacket? No, not no. Well, then just leave it. It looks fine. Okay. I don't know about the shoes. What do you think instead? I just don't think trainers. Boots. What boots do you have? Like the big black. No, no. Ones. They're too much. Have you got any like loafers or anything? Mm. I'm not a loafers girl. I haven't brushed my teeth yet in so long. Today. I haven't brushed them today. Is what I was trying to say. I haven't brushed them since yesterday morning. That's gross. Can you not feel the plaque on them? In a furry. Oh, I feel like I'd be more comfortable with just a, like a fucking zip of hoodie or something. Like, I just feel weird going downstairs to our kitchen in an actual jacket. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you look, you're so weird. You look completely fine. I mean, no, you look good. Leave it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Say bye. Bye. bye.